This video is sponsored by LG Ultra Gear, which, as far as I can tell, is the most powerful gear for victory. With the slogan, Be the Game Changer, Ultra Gear are gaining popularity among gamers with their superior technology and status as the world's first IPS 1 millisecond gaming monitors. The emblem stands for the Wings of Victory, and if it were on my desk, I'd love looking at it. All right, so I've got three gamers at the table, all right? And I'm going to be talking to them <laughs> about their backgrounds in gaming and where they're from, what, they're, what their careers are like, and how they intersect with gaming. Let's start with you, Arnold. You're a good friend of mine. I know everything about you, but the people out there, they don't know. Uh, yeah, so uh, my name is Arnold Herr. I'm the uh, COO and co-president of Gen.G Esports. Uh, <laughs> we're, uh, we're a global esports organization, so we got teams all over the world. Uh, primarily in Los Angeles and Seoul here in Korea. Uh, so like super excited to be here. Uh, I guess my background uh, is I actually didn't start out in gaming. I was like very much a business guy. I'm still very much a business guy. So like I always loved gaming from when I was a little kid. Uh, and I always wanted to own an esports team. But then like esports team's prices just went like too high. So I had to like work for it and work for a company so I could own a little piece. So, you know, that's, that's kind of my background is, you know, did a bunch of stuff, worked in finance, consulting, worked at Google. Uh, and then got a chance to uh, start in esports because what happened was actually it's a good story. Uh, I actually started out at Google, and then I was playing in these like intramurals mm -hmm. with like all the engineers, right? Wow. So we would have these like tournaments at Google, mm -hmm. right? And then all so I would I would basically be like the only mid to like senior business guy playing with all engineers and everybody was like who is this guy that just like keeps talking about like his tournament that he has to play for <laughs> yeah. and that's why he's gonna miss the meeting uh, but what happened is you know I, I got it known that way and then somebody introduced me to somebody and then one thing led to another what games uh, were you playing in those intramurals I was about? actually on the bench for our League of Legends team <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> yeah but I showed up to every practice you know I did all the VOD reviews I worked I worked hard so you were, so you were practicing and training so hard you were missing meetings just so you could get off the bench to play in these. <laughs> I, I would, I, well, I wouldn't say missing meetings. I just blocked it off my calendar, on my Google calendar. And I was just like, oh, intramural meeting, right? Right? So I'm, I'm team building, right? I'm, I'm bonding with our engineers. So that was my excuse. But it, it led me to a good introduction uh, of our chairman. And then we, you know, got the job. So yeah, it worked it, out. It goes to show that not all gamers, you know, are from like kind of the nerd you know, basement dwelling type background, right? Some yeah. gamers are businessmen who actually <laughs> want to own an esports team. That's how passionate you were. Yeah, yeah. Some gamers are nerdy basement business people. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> He's, got He's got it all. We we had like one thing that happened. Uh, Pekyon came because he's a huge PUBG fan. Really? Oh yeah, he's he's good. He I heard too. Really, he's good. really good. good. Like yeah. we at first we would thought it was just like Insa and then like pretend oh. we're playing, and he's like, no, 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 we're playing. And then he knew all our strategies, like. It felt like he scouted us or something. It was crazy. He's like, yeah, wow. so you're going to go this way and you're going to go this way. And all our players were like, oh my God, what, what happened? Yeah. And then he asked for their phone numbers after. So he could still do OQ yeah, with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, from, <laughs> from what I hear, Pekyon is top three in the celebrity PUBG world. Wait, wait, are you ranking him number three or number one? Where, where, where would you put him? I, I, don't, I, don't, uh, I, haven't, uh, I haven't played with enough celebrities to know. <laughs> but everyone I, I've played with, He's the talk of the town. It's like, you haven't played with Pekyun yet? Like, Pekyun is really, really good. It's really like, good. How, like, I would say, like, I would always ask him, like, where would you put him in the celebrity range? Like, out right. of everyone I played with, I, I top three for sure. Today, we are here in the studio with the LG Ultra Gear. Let me get the model number right. 27GN950 monitor. It's a really fast monitor. It's 144 hertz. It's really quick. And I'm told it's got RGB sphere lighting for an immersive gaming experience. The RGB sphere lighting is really important for getting that sound and video synced. Overwhelming speed, 144 hertz refresh rate monitor combined with IPS one millisecond refresh rate. And if you like that monitor, I've got good news because there's another new one coming out, the 27GP950, which has HDMI 2.1 as well. So keep an eye out for that. Stay tuned, it'll be out in 2021. Oh, you, do you guys want to actually have this conversation before we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's good for the show. Like, <laughs> I, so we were, so just, we're talking about well, off camera, yeah. guys, just to, to bring it back in. We we're talking about gaming salaries, and Arnold was talking about how some of these players are making five million plus a year. Yeah, yeah, it's it blew up, man. Like when I when I first came into this thing, it was like three years ago only, like three four years ago. 
And like salaries were like 100,000 for like the best guys. You lay like 300. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, how do I afford this? Yeah. Now, man, like people are making like five, 10 million dollars as like pro players. And then as streamers, they're making like 10, 20, even 30 million a year. Uh, and I'm just like, what is going on? But I think it means like culturally, it's getting more integrated into like mainstream. Yeah. So like, I think that's helping us. I mean, look, my shirt's like, my shirt's filled with just Phil's sponsors. Yeah. I know, right? I love it. I'm, I'm shilling, I'm shilling, you know? As, as, as industries grow, right? Um, they explode because they become popular enough that sponsors notice. And once one big sponsor gets in, every other sponsor wants to be a part of it. You don't want to be the <laughs> one big company that's just not attached to gaming at all. Yeah. And I think the same can be said of, of YouTube artists, K-pop industry as well. Once an industry grows, it really starts to explode, mm-hmm. really starts to mainstream. And speaking of kind of mainstream, it feels like nowadays K-pop has become very mainstream uh, in terms of how it's, uh, you know, perceived outside of Korea, right? It used to be kind of a small thing in the States when I, before I moved to Korea, right, around 2011 yeah. now, about 10 years ago. That was when I remember my friends were starting to get into K-pop a little bit more. I had listened to it a little bit, but it was very niche, right? It was mostly my Korean friends and my friends who hung out with my Korean friends who weren't Korean, right? Like it was kind of a smaller circle. Mm-hmm. People heard it when they were listening um, but now it's so big that it feels like now even companies like Riot yeah. are actually making kind of K-pop groups, right? KDA is a new group that they came out with a few years back. Yeah. Um, and it has their champions in it. So the four champions are Kaisa, Evelyn, Ari, and Akali. So these are four characters you can play as in League of Legends. But they've made them into essentially an idol group. And of mm. course, they're actually voiced by several different uh, musicians and singers. Two of them actually being K-pop idols themselves. And I want to know what you guys think about this because… This is this kind of crazy melding of two booming industries outside of Korea. Yeah. K-pop is growing outside of Korea massively right now. Gaming is growing outside of Korea massively right now. And, and you guys are both kind of from that musician background. So how do you guys feel about this sudden growth and explosion and this kind of melding of gaming and K-pop? I mean, yeah, right now it's a good time for it to all take off, honestly. Because, I mean, I'm familiar with some of these champions because my brother used to be really big in the league. Oh, yeah. Specifically Ari. Because, I mean, you know, there's the pop star Ari skin and that's modeled after Sonia Chide. Yeah. So it's like, they were Even already… Who has a dance. Who has exactly, a dance. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. They were already one, but now it was just kind of all funneled together and that's the result. And yeah, I think it's a great idea that this is happening, though. Yeah, I also yeah. have a great idea. You should make a guy group and put me on. Yo, yo. <laughs> do it. I'm not do even it. playing right oh, now. Oh, that's a great idea. That yeah. is a because great who's to idea. say that it has to be female characters? Right? Yeah. No. What kind of character would you want to be if you were in the game? He's going to be a rapper, right? I heard somebody works at Riot or their sister works at Riot yeah. in, in this building right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, 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 what kind of character would you want to be? First and foremost, I want a sword bigger than me. Like carry okay. a sword bigger sword. than you. Yeah, okay. A big sword. Oh, super futuristic. Some neon on it maybe. Maybe like have it shoot lightning and whatnot. That would be tight. Um, <laughs> and then I want my shirt off to like look extra sexy. <laughs> all, all the new male characters have their shirts off and look super sexy. So yeah, you can yeah. fit right in. Okay. And then can I get matching like neon eyes with my sword too? I think that'd be tight. Now, Let's keep if, going if there. You're, if you're matched up against him and the lightning sword guy. Mm. Like what would you be? Yeah. Who, who are you going to be? Yeah. What would you Great be? Great question because honestly like uh, the whole thing behind Alexa in general like… Making my concept. Our team actually has some very… Uh, the Hello? They got people that are very interested in games. We have some gamers on my team. So that yeah. helped make our concept. And later we want to try to somehow put Ooh. Alexa in the game and things. But Alexa aside, what would I be if I had to verse that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to win that, right? He has oh, lightning man. and a sword. And hey. then like, you know, some water, Jordans or something. So Water against lightning is… Oh, <laughs> water. Okay, if you so. wanted to be like my arch nemesis or something. Wait, wait, wait. wait no, earth, no, no, no. It should light? be earth. Water hey, Yeah, yeah, you're weak, right. right? Okay, yeah, I almost flipped that around. Yeah, yeah. If you were water, I would whoop you. Did you just give right. her dirt as like her power? So then, <laughs> okay. You know, tough. Avatar The Last Airbender. Let's go Earth Okay, style. okay, okay. I'll figure it out. I'll get back to you on that. Maybe she, maybe she sings really well and it moves the earth. Okay, that's her ability. She hmm. like sings and makes it vibrate and then throws the earth at him. Dude. That's yeah, what, that's what I'm kind of feeling. Oh. Why not? Oh, okay. I'm picturing an animation in my head right now of just us fighting in the game or something. <laughs> Artists, please do yeah, this. Like cinematic. Anybody, anybody, please. Do it, do it. Oh, I'm sure someone will do it. And also sing the title track for like the champ. Oh, wow, this, this makes so much sense. Me and you, let's go. Let's go. Hey, let's go. I feel like this, we just suddenly made Riot a lot of money. Made you I guys know, a lot of money. Hey, like, contact wow. Contact us, Riot. Yeah, right. Yeah, get us, put us on. Put us DMs on. are open, right? <laughs> yup, 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 yup. 